welcome guys welcome to another episode of off air with bimmy and tools hey. guess what this is a real housewives of, of lego special our first guest this episode is from the real housewives of lagos yep, 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 yabo yep, yep. joe ladies and gentlemen yeah. um i must <laughs> add we're not anti auntie we're not adding auntie <laughs> not auntie not auntie but the tiktok queen tiktok mm-hmm. queen the talented the fierce yeah thank you yabo joe you welcome. kept us so entertained during lockdown mm-hmm. like your your um instagram page was like a Lips. tv station Thank all you. on its own it was really really good Thank all right so let's jump into this shall we um so right from the beginning when i saw the lineup and i saw that you were you know part of the um personalities i was really excited because i'm like a massive fan Thank and you. then um <laughs> then i i liked you from um the tiktoks and things you've done in the past but then i really really liked you after the incident with princess and everything mm-hmm. and the yeah. way you were fearlessly fighting everyone and anyone. <laughs> and I was like, she is going to be spectacular. Um, the first episode, you were kind of like a little bit reserved. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, but you're going to fight later on, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not, not a, a fighter. I'm not a show for fighting. I'm not a fighter. Like, if you don't look for my, if you don't look for my trouble, mm. I won't come for you. Okay. But if you oh. do, definitely. But well, somebody look for your trouble. Of course. Um, watch the show. <laughs> There's a clip. There's a clip that you that you like, like. We're in the or something like that. And I was like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, that? I was like yeah. oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, mm-hmm. so let's talk about last, um, it was episode three. Yeah. Where the first scene, I, I think you met up with Laura. Yeah. And she was basically saying, oh, she was trying to get you on her side. And, um,. You basically told her what happened and then she said she was going to she was like oh she'll give caroline a dirty slap, slap or something yeah. and then next thing we see you i think you went jogging with choma and then you were yeah. telling her what happened yeah and i was surprised to see people some people on instagram saying or social media not even just instagram saying oh that there was no reason for you to go tell choma excuse me <laughs> it's gist so what happened while i was away this happened and this person said this and this person said that yeah. and so what do you, how do you feel about people trying to paint you as the pot starer, the shit yeah. starer? Okay. Bone carrier. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Um, you know, the way it was edited, a lot was taken out of it. Mm-hmm. If it was played out exactly the way it was, mm-hmm. then people would have had a better understanding right. about what was going on here. Yes. Um, I saw Laura. We had a very lengthy conversation. You know, from where she said she was going to slap uh, Caroline. Caroline, and I laughed. Immediately I finished laughing, I was like, oh, but excuse me. You know, so we had another conversation, you know, where she told me Tiana had told her, you know, things that was said or done mm. at the beach house. And I'm like, what would Tiana have told you, mm. you for you to say you want to slap? For you, you know, I don't, oh, I don't, I don't yeah. get what was going on. So I was a bit confused about that. Mm. And so when... Chama called me up and we w- went jogging. I felt the need to have told Chama because you see, at the beach house, not everything was played out. Mm-hmm. I practically said, I don't want to F with Laura. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to, you know, mm-hmm. move with her. And oh, so, feel free to curse. So we curse yeah, here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, now, for me to now want to give it a second thought, I said, okay, you know what? Let me just hear this lady out. Let me even understand what's going on with her. You understand? I just thought it was going to be about me and her, yeah. our conversation. I didn't know she was going to extend anything to Choma or Caroline because they really didn't say nothing bad about her. Mm-hmm. If anybody had thrown her under the bus or said anything bad about her, it was me. When you imitated oh, her, though, that was spot you know, on. The imitation. So it was, were, there, there so was, it was a twist. It was a twist mm-hmm. for me when she now started saying, you know, she was going to slap Caroline and this and that. And like Choma um, called her. A customer. A customer. I actually didn't notice that. That's really thing. see. So <laughs> obviously, me, Choma, and Caroline, Tiana, we bonded very well yeah. at the beach house. Remember, we're there for three days. Mm-hmm. Like what you guys just watched in testing minutes, we were there for three days. Mm-hmm. So we really did bond. Mm-hmm. You know, and I fell in love with this ladies. Do had fallen in love with Tiana yeah. with friends and all that. So now me talking to Laura and me hearing another story was a different thing. And I wanted to like Talk to Carol, um, Choma about it. Like, Choma, come, what's going on? 
did you actually call this person a customer? Because uh-huh. I didn't even hear it. Okay, is it so, so bad please, I have a question. <laughs> is it customer? Is it insults? I, you know, like, and insults do not kill anybody anyway. Yeah. But is it insults? <laughs> you know, anyways, anyway, so um, like Bibi said earlier, they mm. did, they, they have alleged that you are like you know stirring the pot, That's and good. even even Laura actually said that um, her words were, "I wish Iyabo had filtered." What she said. What she, she said, repeated filtered, it three filtered, times filtered. at the salon. She was <laughs> like, I'm a gangster. It's just like they didn't show everything. I'm mm. a gangster. I was just like, really? I said, me, I'm ghetto. Me, I'm street. I'm, I'm a bero. You understand? And she was like, no, no, you, no, you, no, you. I'm talking about them. I would slap. I would. She went on and on about it, even though they just showed it once. So, like, I was so shocked when she said, I was expecting you to filter. You didn't filter what you were telling me so, now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand. So at and the I end, don't owe you loyalty. You're not yeah. my friend, you know? Mm. We just... I like, you know, but you know she gets emotional when you don't call her your friend. <laughs> See, you don't just... Don't just, just, <laughs> You know, we just, we just made up and yeah. we're just supposed to start. Like, okay, fine. You want to be my friend? Mm-hmm. We make up. Like, okay, we're, we're going to have a clean slate and start all over. Mm-hmm. But you're having problems with the other ladies that I'm cool with. I can't be with you when I know I'm cool with these people and you're not cool with them. Are you be so saying I, things? I, of course you're going I to just, tell them. Can I just ask, at the end of this episode that we just watched, um, it looks like almost all the housewives present are against Laura or have issues with her. Is that true or false? I mm-hmm. can't speak for anybody. I can only speak for no. myself. Thank you. No, <laughs> no. No. I can't only speak for myself. Okay, yes. Let me just quickly say something. There was a part where I think it was episode two when you were talking to your daughter. She's very, yeah. she's gorgeous, by the way. Thank and you. And you were telling her that she should hurry up because you want to be a grandma. And I was just like, ah, she's so young. Why do you want, why do you want her to get oh, married so young? I remember that. You said before 25. I don't want her. Yeah, I don't want her to get carried away with all the fame and wealth and everything. Mm-hmm. I wanted to live her loved life mm-hmm. and find love. And I think it's always good when you, you know, when you're not in a rush or you're not, um, how I put it? You know when you start pressured. getting old, you're pressured. You're, not, yeah. mm-hmm. you're pressured to get married so you don't go fall in love with the wrong person. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to always look in that direction. Like when she's picking her boyfriend or anything, she should look for a husband material, mm-hmm. somebody that mm-hmm. she wants to settle down with. Not just a guy that wants to play. You know we mothers, when we want to pass a message, there's a way we pass the message. We don't go straight. So it doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> you know, and if it eventually works, I mean, yeah, I want to be a grandma so okay. fast. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking forward to All seeing... my children are not troublesome. I don't have anyone that is mm. bass blues like me. Yeah. Yeah, but I have a very good feeling that my first grandson or daughter will be bass blues. Oh, God. <laughs> you just said you're not a fighter. You said you're not a fighter. You said you're not a fighter. Unless you look for her trouble. Okay. If you look for my job, Which is exactly how I am. So. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, oh, that's hey. not, I don't go looking for no, no, that's, that's, that's not exactly that's true. So, excuse me, am I a troublemaker? Let me give you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Unprovoked. Yeah, ah. Unprovoked. Let me give you some Ew. expo. One of your fellow housemates, um, housemates, one housewives. of your fellow housewives, housewives. Yeah. um, <laughs> has like a bit of an issue with her. Carla said, I don't like her. And I'm yeah. just like, I don't even have any issues with her. Really? I know. Because I was making fun of her because she said billionaire a couple of times in episode and one. And then because of the dress yeah. that she wore to, um, but to everybody the talked ah. about the dress. <laughs> See, oh, listen, oh, I wait, said, wait, so when, listen, when, you, when you saw the dress, what did you think? I thought maybe Elena she was Nicole. coming from a show. Maybe sure. she was coming from a show and she just decided to stop by. Mm. That's what I thought. Because she looked like someone that was coming from a red carpet show or an event or something. The way she, she would say that. No, and all the boobs and all that. So obviously it was too much. Oh, oh, oh. And that's all I said. You know, I said she looked good, but, but she's was a beautiful. Because yeah. I said it, she's beautiful, yes. she's pretty. But yes, yes, if I had she... known that she had left her house like that, I could have come at her but because i i didn't know where she was coming from yeah. so i couldn't no we, we know she's beautiful she said it a few times yes you know. oh she said it yeah, yeah she said she i'm beautiful i'm very beautiful I'm beautiful and i you know i she's made fun of and i made fun of that <laughs> because and then she was like oh baby doesn't like me i was like uh-uh carola and i didn't even uh-uh. see but you guys <laughs> know no but you guys know that she's no no but, but you guys know that if i don't like someone you will know that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay, so what do we have to look forward to mm-hmm. for the rest of the episodes? I'm telling you, drama. I'm excited. Plenty of drama. <gasps> Any surprises? And towards the end, Game. you guys are going to scream for season two. Does anybody break any bones like any points? Hmm. Definitely. Oh, no. Is it you? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gentleman. 
gentle girl, honestly. I, I believe Even you. I look for my trouble, I'm very gentle. I and a lot of them didn't look for my trouble. So I spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of time on your page. Yeah. And like <laughs> I've seen when you're angry. And yeah. It's like and I'm like, hmm. I mean it's it's very, very um what's it called? It's anger with a reason. Yeah. But it's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. I mean I'm a little bit scared of you, not too much, but just a little bit. So just, just a little bit. <laughs> Oh gosh. I feel if like they don't look for my trouble like I'm good and honestly they really didn't look for my yeah, trouble I feel, I feel like if I say the wrong thing I don't know some people might run upon me before I leave this video <laughs> nah. but uh, thank you so much for coming and thank I'm you. looking forward to the rest of the episodes Absolutely. Um, I know that it's going to be a fantastic show see ah. I'm a huge Real Housewives fan like I love she is Real like Housewives a I Real Housewives fan no 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 no, no. <laughs> Real Housewives <laughs> Then we'll just partner no, no, together. Ah, okay. And give one of them that's good. Maybe we be like, Caroline will be like, but when we don't like me, we'll be like, and? No, 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 no. But I, honestly, honestly, I don't know why she. Okay, I don't like you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wow. But honestly, I don't have anything against her. I don't know why she thinks that though. I mean, because if I don't like someone, you know. So yeah. But I'll I'll be the one that's just watching everyone. I'll just be like, not like. But you don't look cool, though. This one. Because sometimes I read about you, like sometimes you give your bars, but in a little. The lies. The lies. Just small, that's small something in the system. Is <laughs> 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 ah. mm. <laughs> just because see, you know, because she you know she says it with a British accent. You know, yeah. no, no, no. me, I'm just like I don't care. I'm going like, to say, oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so who think, uh, you know? So who do you who do you think your um, who would you say you're closest to? Like after shooting the whole season, who would you say at the end of this you're closest to? Chama. Oh, okay. I and love who that. Would you say. Let me pick my words carefully. Mm-hmm. You probably need a bit more time to get closer to them. I don't know about needing more time. Who don't you like? <laughs> <laughs> or who is annoying? <laughs> mm, I can't mention that because it's going to water down the show. Like. No, we already know. <laughs> we can already see. There were people on the show that I really loved and found out that I made a mistake. I picked the wrong hey, person. So you're going to find that out. No, definitely. You're going to watch it. Oh, I can't wait <laughs> so, to see it. That's why I said it, though. it's fun. It's I, I know that there's a, there's a trip. You guys went on a trip. Yeah. You got, uh, and all those trips, there's always problems. So I can't wait to see ah, what big happens. Ones. Mm. Ah, big ones. Ah, All right. That is good. Thank, Thank you so, so, much. so much for stopping by. Yeah. Um, still a fan. Still a massive fan. Yes. And uh, we look forward to seeing more Wahala. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it is a real Housewives of Lagos special. We have got another fantastic housewife. We've got Miriam in the building. Hi. Hi. So we've watched, uh, we've all just finished watching episode three. We haven't seen too much of you, but we did see you at the premiere. Yeah. Oh, was yeah. At the premiere. When you were yeah, like, she should I do your job you. for you? Oh, that, why did you do that guy like that? Why did you just, you know. Go down. I want to say that. I did not mean it like that. <laughs> How did you mean it? The end, no, to be sincere. You look so irritated. You only had like, one job. <laughs> but honestly, honestly. You only had one job. Yeah. I was like, so what are you expecting from the show? And she's like, I am. She was <laughs> pleasure enough to say. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah. Who, 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 who am I? I'm, I'm the guy. I'm the okay. guy. What's his name again? Prince. 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 Okay, Prince. So I'm Prince. I'm Prince. Prince. So, hi. I can't remember what he said. Something, something, So, what are you expecting from the show? I'm part of the cast of the show. Wow. And yes. I look at the camera like... <laughs> so she goes, and she goes... <laughs> and she goes... It, uh, clearly, you don't know your job. Anyway, I'm my name is... Job. I'm like, I have to take my power back. Let me tell you something. Something. People keep saying, oh, was it scripted? Was it planned? No. It was either me acting like, um, oh, it's okay. It's a not. I'm a dumb blonde. <laughs> Oh, fuck no, I'm not one. <laughs> so, I had to take my power back thinking like, no, you don't know your job. Like, get your resumes together. Like, I had to get him all the and way together. you sunk him. He looked like he just wanted the floor to open and swallow him up. I know the annoying part. If you see the way his fans were flooding in my deal. That's how they behave And now. wait now, you know that this person, when I opened their page, 
Somebody no Coco Michael. Thank you. I like Picking you. Picture. Oh, oh, I like you. Taking no, no, picture of a committed building. Thank you. Oh, 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 People, people were making excuses. Oh, uh, but you got the job an hour before. I did not give an F. Mm. If you got a job two seconds before, do your job. Simple. Do your research. Period. Yeah. Point blank period. Could you develop? Well, a lot of people did also say that, you know, whoever he was working with, they should have actually said, okay, you know what? You've got they men also coming. She's, him. you yeah, know, one of the housewives yeah. and everything. But really just look at the backdrop. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to think that you might be the drama. The very, very. The drama. She's like, I'm icy one. You are the drama. You are the drama. <laughs> I'm the checker, like I check you. Good. I check your ass. Like Love it. I, I, I'm not into the oh let's prolong issue. Mm -hmm. No. Let's deal with the nut right yeah, now. Will say, you marry me? Once you do it, it's about hey. to move on. I don't give I don't Okay. Like I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I actually like people like this because you know what? We have it's an not issue. left to you to let on to no. continue with your emotions. But left it. to me, I'm done. Mm. We we have an issue. Let's I don't like this. You know, Nigerians, mm. especially Europe will like this coro coro. Oh, you, that's say it as it is. Like I don't know. That's how I grew up. Like my house was Set your case. Even, and let's deal even, with even it. on the show, when people want probably some of the cast are called Miriam, because even people think of trouble make a problem. Probably because of, of me being so confrontational, direct and direct. People think I'm a problem. No, yeah. I'm not. But at the end of the way, you come to me, it's like, oh, tools. Maybe says this about me. <laughs> and I'm like, go on, tell I'm baby. Oh my god, go on, tell no. baby. Why are you like? If you don't, okay, show me the more share. Like, go on, tell baby. Like, don't do it behind. So I love it. Which which housewives did you have to check? Everybody. Did you check everybody? Not really. Who did you have to check? Because I felt like at a point, when I got in, don't forget, people think, oh, I was probably backstage while they were shooting the first and three, four, and one to three episode. No, I wasn't. I, I didn't even know anything about the shows at that time. So I literally joined episode four. Right. Literally. I started shooting episode four. So when I came in, some of them, most of them already knew who I was before the show. Mm -hmm. And they knew who Miriam, I did me, Miriam, Miriam, I did me before I got married, Miriam, Tima now, like, no nonsense. So I felt like a lot of them didn't really want to even want to mess with me, you. Or mess with me. <laughs> so my mom, I would get back up and say, no, baby, I'll tell my husband, carefully. I say, baby, go see drama, because they don't want to do drama <laughs> with me. Like, <laughs> Like, they don't want me to give them. I'm like, my mom, they're just maybe just no. Just calm down. I'm like, oh, you know, I call my sister. So, uh, I have to ask about that dynamic. So, how do you guys? How do you? Because so he's this older white guy. Yeah. What's the age difference if you don't mind us asking? Twenty. Twenty years. Okay. And so you are this hot pepper, melanin, you know, drama melanin Nigerian popping. girl. And then how did you guys even blend? Like how? Uh, the blending was by the grace of God. I'm not going to lie to you because I grew up to mom say Lord Shelori okay because me don't do the guru. I never thought I was going to get married until probably like we have to we have to we have to we have to <laughs> translate yeah, some titles, for people. Some yeah, she so. said. It was by the grace of God because Lots the of prayers. prayers that her mom went Lots to do on the mountain, mm -hmm. and not because on on its own behalf, but it was because of me. Uh, because because I she never thought she would marry. She no, get married. no, okay. no, get, not get married. Dead, not get married at all. It was fact I didn't want to get married until I was thirty five years old. That mm -hmm. was like my. Mm -hmm. I was at the peak of my career at that time. I was, I was do like the PR I was doing then. I was at every event. I was the baby girl for life. It's the, if I did you six months, I don't like you. I move on to another guy. It wasn't the fact that I was. I was <laughs> You know, I, I didn't care if you talked about me or not. I was at the peak of my career. I didn't need any man or anybody to give me money. I was working for my money. Mm -hmm. it was, everything was there. And this white man came. So me, even like, without makeup, mascara down like this, after makeup. Was that toasted? And I can't believe it. I didn't care. Like, I was 26. He's driving me away like chicken. Oh, God. Like, I was 26 or 27 when I met him. No, 25 when I met him. But we didn't get married until when I was 27. But it wasn't something I wanted. So the day he proposed, people were like, "So what did it? What no. did it for you? What turned you it around?" You found out on the show because there was a point where I didn't even because I never talk about my relationship. That's one thing I need. I still go. As my husband is an introvert, I'm an extrovert. Do you understand? Mm. And it was the point. I always thought I was never going to talk about my relationship. Even not with them, with the girls. Probably on my diary session, yes. But where one, one of our cast trips and we were talking and like, so what did it for you when it came to your husband? You loving your husband because you're always saying that oh, this is nice and everything. And it starts like crying. 
Mm-hmm. Like you bitches, you fucking sneaky ass bitches make me cry. Oh. Like I never thought I was going to <laughs> cry you're, at you're all. Human. Do you understand? Up but now this group, at that you're point, human. even I did not know when I fell in love with my husband. Oh. I just thought I just fell in love. It was it wasn't until one of the girls asked me that question, and I responded, and it was accurate that that was exactly when I fell in love with him. Oh. So it was something like it's something like even either. Like, I'm that hardcore girl in the house. Like, to my friend, kissing, this is, baby, please, uh-uh. this is white people shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you, know, like, you know, like we are compatible in the sense, like we are totally, like we are both Sagittarius. Even our child is Sagittarius. Mm. Like, what is a common version of Sag? I'm the crazy, yeah. you know, the. If I'm bringing something out and it just. So you compliment each other, basically. Perfectly. Good, good, good. That's what we like to hear. Around the time when you were getting married, um, yes. you had put out the pre wedding pictures. pictures. Yeah. And the next thing you know, we were hearing of some ex wife yeah. from the States, yeah. I think, who came out. And so, does this ex wife make, were the producers messy enough to go fish her out to make an appearance? Oh, on the yeah, show? Like, yeah, yeah, that's what But if I were a producer, <laughs> no, but, but see, if I were a producer, I'll go and look for her. Wait, 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 wait. We need to pause. We need, we need to pause. That she, that 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 she comes. We need to pause so we can translate that next season. Wait, wait, pause, pause so we can just translate. We have to be in Nigeria. Because you're in America, when you beat somebody, they can take you to the This one, Miriam, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's just translate what Miriam said. Um, what was the? I don't know. They never bore your mother's mother's well. They never bore your mother's mother's well. Wow. 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 Oh, I, re- I first of all I know you from the whole PR thing, and then yeah. that happened, and then you know everything went quiet, and then I saw I was like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna explore that angle. Hmm. I don't think the first season that is is it something that might look into that they didn't say anything, mm. but probably something because it's a reality show. There's no limit, do you understand? There's no limit to anything when it comes to your personal level in reality yeah. show. So yeah. I think they're going to literally mm. go into that probably like in other seasons to come. Yeah, but if they want to, you're not, you, at this point. I've been married for, it's going to be seven years this year. Mm-hmm. She gave me, been with my husband for 10 years. Mm-hmm. And she has her own life, I have my own life. We've never met, to be sincere, mm-hmm. like this. Uh, but I'm sure you've spoken. Uh, no, we've never spoken. Oh. So she, I, I can't wait. Is she scared of you? Oh, I'm so fucking I lovely. Hope- <laughs> 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 well, you know when you don't know? Oh she has sent me emails, like back in the days, that she would send me emails or do this. I have a feeling that she responds in Yoruba like, no, oh, I big, I like gay. I never responded because I don't, as much as I'm crazy, I'm very well trained. I'm like, Mugbeko. Mm-hmm. She'll get me. I'll call me Mugbeko late. Like, Meaning I'm, they just have manners and she I, accepted I'm not one of those girls from the streets. My husband did not pick me up from the streets. Mm. He met me in my family out in Olu and Inshallah, point blank. Period. So I'm not one of those girls that married on you both for money or anything. I was already Ooh. me before he came. I was already happy. I was content with everything I had. What he bought was just by the table. I was the table. Hey! So, yeah. so we can't get into a fight now. Say I have I'm not one of those white that say I, 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 I do you, do, you, do, you, do you know who do you I, know I am? am? I'm trying to look for the fuck right. people talking to me. <laughs> it's not me. Let me ask you this. What were your first thoughts when they asked you to be part of this show? Was I excited? Absolutely, yes. Because I've always been a huge fan of reality show. You know what? I think huge. this is me. <laughs> Huge fan of reality show. When I literally got the call, I was in LA. I was actually auditioning for the Real Housewife of Atlanta. No way! Yes. yes, I was actually auditioning hey. for the Real Housewife of Atlanta, and they told me. Hey. <laughs> I can imagine a quarrel, <laughs> Nini Leaks, or somebody like but that. It was even last Bro. year. The Nini already left. Uh, do you understand? So they were casting yeah. Nini, Portia, and Cynthia left. So they were casting for mm-hmm. the new. So yeah. by the time I heard, I heard about the new casting. They already finished casting. That's that's last week. Okay, they have my audition tape and everything. But mm-hmm. next year they're going to review it. So someone just said, "Why couldn't you? Why didn't you just go for the one in Lagos? It's a franchise and I've lots of Lagos." I said, "I don't think." She said, "Yes, check your Google." That's how I got to find out, which was November. Okay. That was how I got to find out about the rest of the mm. So I made some calls. I'm like, what well, we know, what we know, what we know. I made some calls. So it was, it was, it was like, when I say dream come true, because I've always wanted to be on a reality show, and I, there's no better platform for you to be on if you want to become a reality star when it comes in terms of being an, an mm. housewife. Mm-hmm. 
Rue Lassap is the bomb. Mm-hmm. When you, when they were revealing the other housewives to mm-hmm. you, was there any name that they mentioned you were like... They didn't reveal uh, them to me until I went there. Oh. So oh. I got, they were shooting and I walked in and I didn't know I was coming. So they were gagged. You guys should say that next week. <laughs> so so were, were they, was there somebody that you were pleasantly surprised with and was there somebody that you were like, oh, oh God. God. <laughs> I am not going to answer this question. Oh, oh, man. Give us one now. Give, no. us one. Give us one. One person I already knew. One person was on the cat because I came on, on the show as the person's friend. Mm. Do you understand? So that one. The rest, it was like it wasn't like I was surprised to be sincere because I didn't know Laura from anywhere. The people, I, the two people I didn't really know was Laura and um, what's it called? But Caroline. But, I didn't you, them. but I'm sure you don't show. But let me ask you: Was she your customer? <laughs> I don't get my kids no where they say they be she patronized. <laughs> but do you clash with the yellow? This is this is literally me at the yellow. We just like so. Can I go see Lenny? Shit, your with the front, and she just said Miriam one Shady zero your before mind. the end of the day. She just said Miriam. Oh, you stood up. You forgot the rest of your bum bum. Oh my god. You know god. that kind of thing? Like, no, like playful banter. Playful play, banter. Yeah. That's the Yabba and Fun I. Shade. Do you understand? Fun, Fun We show shades. And she's like, Fun shade. And she's the, I feel like Yabba is the only one on the show that can actually understand my sense of humor because we're she knows exactly like I mean where you're coming from. I'm yeah. coming from. But the rest of the cast don't understand which I really don't give a shit. It probably would take some you, time, you know, because you, you just met. Oh, wow. I'm yeah. the kind of person I said what I said. I ain't going back. Do you think they're quite sensitive? Some no. of them, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All of them. All of them. All of them actually they're very sensitive. All yeah. of them. All of them. Mm. So, yes. Uh, on that note, we'll say thank you very, very much. I think I the, have a new face. To the <laughs> very, very effervescent. Mm. Yeah. Miriam. <laughs> effervescent. Miriam. <laughs> 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 she has to be like this. Effervescent. Effervescent. To pronounce the syllable. Yes. Vivacious. Vivacious. Yes. Miriam. We look forward to seeing the drop the not the drama. Not but drama, but yes. the real... But the drama. The because, girl, the you queen. are the drama. Another guest on the show from the Real Housewives of Lagos is hair mogul, socialite, fashion god... Well, no, that's not that name for somebody else. But fashion tour. Yeah, western tour. And, of course, it girl, Shelma Ikoku. Thank you. Hey, well, no, I'm, no, no. Better known as Trauma Good Hair. A lot of yes. people think your surname is Good Hair. Apparently. Yeah. But it's good. It's a good it's a good surname to good have. Good branding. Good branding. Welcome. Thank you. We have a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Really? Let's get <laughs> into scared. it. First <laughs> what question. First question. What? Can I ask the first question? Yes. Okay, so I know both of you know each other. Mm-hmm. But would you say she's more of a friend or a customer? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Can I answer the question? I'm a customer of brass and copper because I've never bought good hair. But I'm a customer of brass and copper, so, and, and I'm content with that. I, why did you do that? You know that's why she's vexed with all of you, right? She's annoyed. She <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> are you her friend? No. But people said that you guys used to hang out. That is not true. Me and Laura, I've never physically seen Laura outside of the space, the good hair space. Okay. Like I've not seen her past the gate ever. Yay. So it's not even like we've I've spotted her anywhere and I ignored her. I've not physically seen her. The way she made it seem as if you guys to go to sleep every Friday. Yeah. Or something. Like, and like and, and you know I don't know why Chama did what time a friend. You know, you know the funny thing? We have even been to sleep once or twice yeah. together in the same, but I still won't say, oh, Chama is my friend. Like that. But at the same time, we're not enemies, just that we're mm-hmm. acquainted. Yeah, we're yeah. back home. That was that was one of the <gasps> moments of episode one, and I'm sure lots of people <laughs> hit you up on social media to be like, "Why are you being me?" <laughs> so, so actually, funny enough, not really. Most people were like, "You need to know the difference between like a friend and an acquaintance." Ding, you ding, know? Ding, ding, ding. And the fact that so imagine if every single person that you purchase something from, mm-hmm. you know, they're not they're not necessarily your friends. Mm-hmm. I go to Chanel store, I buy something maybe once or twice. Does that make the attendant my friend? Yes. Not necess- no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Depends. It depends on how much your. <laughs> But imagine, but they see so many people every single day. Yeah. You you have to communicate with the people that are buying and from be nice, you, you know, and be nice. So that doesn't mean that every single person that walks into that store is their friend. Yeah, you know, especially when you only see them at work. So, but I've done it for years. <laughs> <laughs> so there was something else. So in that clip, um, in that clip, when they were asking you, like, are you friends or is she your customer? You said um, there's there's something that you didn't want to say. She's like, I don't want what to what did what you not say. want to say? <laughs> Like, she gave a polite free. laugh. I'm not trying to be rude or mean, Jenna. And when I did say it, I wasn't saying it in a rude way. I was even smiling. She was like, "Oh, me and Trump have been friends for a while." And I was like, "Yeah, we were, you know, she's been my client for a bit, you know." But it wasn't like, "Oh, ew, you're not my friend." I wasn't trying to do that. Yeah. She took it a different way. Yeah. You know. 
And let's be honest, if me and Laura were really friends, look at how she's going on now. Would would, she, would you do that to your friend? You wouldn't. Mm. So of course we were never friends. But I think that's probably what um, caused her to react this way. <clears throat> Because she felt... Do you, you know, know what? To answer this question, if me and Laura are friends, she should produce evidence. Hey. It's that simple. Show receipts. Show, show receipts. Let's see girl strips. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Do you know I, what? Has she liked any of your pictures on Instagram? Then she's your friend. <laughs> no, that's not true. I like Beyonce. <laughs> I, like Beyonce. <laughs> I, like Beyonce. <laughs> I like Beyonce's picture. She's not my friend. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not that. Mm-hmm. Another question that people had, because during your um, introduction in episode one, you mentioned that you... Um, I think you were away for a while and then you lived in Lebanon and then you came back for law school. Then someone now tweeted, ah, but she was my school mother in QC. So did you go to QC? I did go to QC, but you know, so basically there's a lot of editing that goes in. They pick like 30 seconds of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So when they asked me about my life and my trajectory, I said all of these things, but they picked what was relevant or what they felt was relevant or what they wanted to portray, Mm -hmm. Right. you know? So apparently, so I asked my mom, my mom was like, you left Nigeria when you were 13, Mm -hmm. not 12. So she was like, so big difference. Do you Mm -hmm. know what I mean? I left after SS1 and I went to school in England. So year Mm -hmm. nine, year 10, year 11, was in England, obviously college, university, my master's, everything. And I lived there. So I'm not trying to deny the fact that I'm Nigerian or I've lived in Nigeria. Or that you went to QC. Pass on. Or that I went, exactly or that I went to QC it's not even that like a lot of my friends are my friends from Queen's College and of course my friends from England it's a perfect balance I think what's good about me and I always say this is I have best of both worlds you mm-hmm. know so I have a very Nigerian experience and I have mm-hmm. a very English experience you know and I use both to my advantage I don't really see what the issue is with that you know how people are now they're yeah. trying to poke holes in everything and I was like that. clearly they couldn't find anything else to say about me or come up with and you want to mm. be saying oh this my is why you need to come back to Twitter <laughs> <laughs> So, I will. So I you will. can defend your honor. I will. Just saying. Okay, so I was very surprised to see like your friendship or bond with Iabo. I didn't even see that coming at all. Yeah. One for the age difference. It's mm-hmm. not. I'm not saying you know, but age difference and just you guys just seem like you're from two different worlds. She's mm-hmm. a bit. She's crazy. Yeah. She has a lot of energy, and you are very like you know very a little bit laid back <laughs> and, and she actually sometimes. mentioned that you are somebody that she's you know quite close to now mm-hmm. so how did you, how did you how like did that click with her how did it happen um when i say it happened on day one not necessarily because i didn't actually know who iaba was mm-hmm. prior to the show mm-hmm. um i don't watch like yoruba movies so i'd never seen her before or even on instagram and as you mentioned we are from two separate worlds mm-hmm. like it couldn't be <laughs> we're literally two ends of the spectrum so I didn't know her, but when I met her, there was something about her that was so warm and genuine, you know. And I think I'm a very good judge of character. I can tell when somebody likes me off mm-hmm. the back and when you don't like me. Mm-hmm. Jenna, or when, when I intimidate you or you're jealous off the back, I could just tell. Mm-hmm. And with her, I just sensed like that genuine, hmm, I like this girl, I like her fashion. You know, she yeah, liked cool. me and I could feel it. So I remember the first time, because you know, we didn't know who else was going to be on the show, mm-hmm. right, when we started. When did they tell you? We didn't tell on us. day one? No, they didn't tell us. We saw, like... I saw them for the first time and I was like, huh? Are these my cousin? Like, what, what's going on? They didn't tell us anything. So I remember seeing her and coming back down to my office because you know we from the brass and copper. Mm. So I went back into good hair and they were like, ah, madame, they put you on the show with Iyabo Jo. Ha, ah, how can they do this? You guys are so different. You're not going to get along, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, funny enough, I don't get that vibe. You know, so all the things that people think that she is or mm. I've heard, I've never seen, I haven't experienced, I've not gotten any negative vibe. Of course, she's not a pushover. We all know don't come yeah. for Iyabo. Mm. However, like, She's not a bad person at all. Like, if mm. anything, she's the opposite. She's the most genuine, the kindest person, and, you know, I want to say the most loyal. Mm-hmm. And um, so this is a question that I asked um, before, but I want to ask you this. So when you saw the ladies that, were, that you're going to be shooting with, who were you pleasantly surprised by, and who were you like, ugh, God? I wasn't pleasantly surprised by anyone, if I'm being honest. So there wasn't somebody that you were like, oh, that's my girl? Or, no. Mm-mm, nobody. Okay, but was, was there somebody that you saw that you were like, ugh? <laughs> you can say it you can say it <clears throat> I think for me it almost like got progressively worse do you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> which one oh, no, 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 no offense no offense <laughs> we'll let that go now with, with whom no offense but like okay so first of all seeing Tony and of course we know like you know online me and Tony didn't we hadn't met before and it was just kind of like what I knew about her online which mm. seemed quite cantankerous you know so seeing her I was like not in a bad way like she just she likes to defend herself you know so 
I was like, oh God, <laughs> troublemaker. Okay, <laughs> you know, are we gonna like clash heads? Like, what's gonna happen? First thing, obviously, I didn't know Riaba, but then hearing that you know she's this person that ah, she can she can drag you for weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't fight online. That's, just, that's the one thing that I'm not gonna do. Do you understand? Mm. Like, exchange words, I won't do it. A lot of my followers are international. Just they're just gonna be like, what's going on with this? You know, so I, I actually can't afford to do that. So I don't ever want to get into any online battle with someone because they will just win because I'll let you win. So I was thinking, ah, shush. And then we get to Brass and Copper the next day, which mm-hmm. is Toyin's event, or rather the next time, which is Toyin's event. And I see Caroline, which for me was neither here nor there, if I'm being honest. It was, she's not my girl, or, she, mm-hmm. or rather at the time, she wasn't my girl, mm-hmm. but then she wasn't my enemy. Do you mm-hmm. understand? So it was like cordial. It was just cordial. So I was like, okay, another person, but just still no one that I was particularly close to or could really relate with. And then Laura walks in, and I'm just like, okay, you guys, like. <laughs> <laughs> Like, wait, wait, what do you mean by you guys? Like, I'm just like, like, am I going to have someone in my corner? Like, you know, so yeah. For me, I felt like the... Outcast. Yeah, a okay. little bit. Did you watch Real Housewives? Like, other, um, what's it called, franchises before this one? So the only one that I ever saw was Atlanta first season okay. when it first came out, yeah, however long ago, ago that was. So yeah. I don't really remember, like, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I never really watched any other one. I think the LA one, maybe once or mm-hmm. twice. Like, mm-hmm. one or two episodes mm-hmm. but yeah i'm a complete novice mm-hmm. in this whole thing like even the diaries i was struggling like i just i didn't know how to do it i did it so people say that on my diaries i sound like i'm narrating because i don't know any better do you know what i yeah. mean the, the way they ask me the questions i just repeat it back because mm-hmm. i don't really understand like yeah you know people how use it as an be. opportunity to be catty or to be shady, shady. Mm-hmm. or you know just be witty you don't have that I, I, did, I didn't know that you know mm-hmm. well now you know, <laughs> now, now now. You know. another thing i was going to ask you is people kept saying well, I noticed it too when um, Yabo invited you guys to the beach and you said, I'm so impressed, like six times. I'm so impressed. Oh, wow. I'm so impressed. I was like, ah. Were you ex- somebody said, were you expecting her to serve you cabin biscuits at this time? Or what? Like, what was going on? Well, first of all, I was genuinely impressed, you know. Um, it was the first proper hosting. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the first thing was like Tori launching her daughter's, you mm-hmm. know, business, which mm-hmm. wasn't like super elaborate, mm-hmm. you know. And I mean, that was at Boston Copper. I helped her all that. It just, mm. it wasn't like anything serious. Mm. And then Iabo comes and like, you know, we're going to the beach. It's a nice beach house. And like all the attention to detail is what I didn't necessarily expect. Okay. I thought we're just going to go to the beach, you know, yeah. stay over, have a good time, walk along like, you know, the, 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 the water. But I didn't really think that she would, um, it was a lot. Did you see that dinner set up? I, I, I was going to ask. Like, and then the brunch set up. You guys were you dressed, got dressed like, for three days. I was like... Yeah, for three I days. I don't know having dinner with themselves. Like, you guys look like... You, the, you people were just buffing up. I was like, what's going on with Because look at the set Did I give like a brief? I said, you guys must bring it every time you're on camera. No. no. It's just, I mean, be yourself. You'll see that some people like start off a bit weak, but then obviously when they now see how certain people are bringing it, mm. they now like set up their game. <laughs> shade, <laughs> so, yeah. shade, shade, all over the place. So, so, so um, the episode that we just watched, um, you had a conversation with Iabo mm-hmm. and she um, told you what um, Laura said. So some people feel that um, Iabo shouldn't have told you everything. Do you feel that Iabo should have filtered out like you know, Laura said many, many times, do you feel like she should have filtered out some of those things? Like she shouldn't have told you like word for word what, what they had, uh, what they said during their conversation. So imagine me and you have a conversation mm-hmm. after and then I'm talking about Bimi and then you see Bimi next. Are you going to be like, ah, Chama said this, you know, she, you will t- you'll tell her everything that I said mm-hmm. because you don't owe me anything, but you cannot owe her loyalty because she's your friend. So I don't think that Iaba should have filtered anything. Mm-hmm. I think that she and Laura were not even that cool anyway. If anything, they weren't friends. And me and Yabo were really cool. I think what you guys missed was the progression of our relationship. Mm-hmm. You know? So it kind of seemed like, oh, we just met and then now we're so close. Yeah. I'm forming Voltron for Caroline. Yeah, I was telling Chama everything. And it's like, where's all this love coming from? But what, what you didn't get to see was how we really bonded. Mm-hmm. And at that dinner, the dinner that was so elaborate on the beach... Mm-hmm we had like a conversation just about what we thought about everybody mm. and you know what we'd seen about their personalities mm-hmm. at that and point that was in one time. that um laura didn't come on that mm. beach yeah she mm. wasn't yeah. there no so we mm. just spoke about like you know like what i felt about Toyin and just realizing the sort of person that she was mm. and you know how amazing she is and just Iabo, the things i'd heard and just how she'd come across to me so i think if you guys had seen that then it would have made a lot more sense as to how the relationship had formed and just the way that we had bonded and so things would have been a bit more mm. in context as opposed to 
you know, it just looking so random and like, yeah. why are we loving up on each other like this? Yeah, because yeah. because um, I do remember that Laura also did say that um, I think was it this episode she she basically insinuated that you guys are being fake. Mm-hmm. She Funny. said that you guys she, are being fake. That you know all of this is why. She said no in episode one. She was like, and everybody's been extra nice to Trauma. I was like, oh. hi, hater. <laughs> <laughs> so safe to say, um, are you guys friends now? Who? You and Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you're gonna have to watch? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things that you know me confirming will be telling. So I, you have to watch mm-hmm. to see if we mm-hmm. do become friends or not. Because you know, I mean, I mean, since episode four, I see we saw clips of it, and she says something like, "Oh, but you fought at the at the club." I was just like, and I was like, "Bitch, I will brush you again." Do you understand? <laughs> don't do that. Like, don't don't do that. Leave me in my princess state. Did you fight Simple. at the club? I didn't fight at the club. I yes, what, she did. I don't know what you're referring Wait, to. Yes, she did. I don't know what you're referring to. I, I remember no, 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 no. It's different. I, I, did, I didn't to. fight at the club. You're somebody defending hit, yourself. Somebody hit me at the club. Yes. I defended myself and she got beat down. That's it. It's not, it wasn't a fight. <laughs> Trust me, it wasn't a fight. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a fight. <laughs> so, that, so that was that. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's a cancerian, so. Oh, you're yeah. a cancerian. Yeah. So that, that was that's just it. Like, I would, never, I would never look for trouble. It would well, never you be, oh, yourself. Chama did this, Chama did that. But if you come for me, what I'll do to you will be 100 times what you thought you would ever come to me. I like, see. Like, Ooh, you, know? you, so I was yeah, well, your you yeah, when's your birthday? June 25th. Oh, okay, she's July, July 18th. I'm July yeah. 6th. Mm. Oh, you're yes. Yes. Okay. So wait, you, you, <laughs> Yambo. <laughs> 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 it's not violent. It's not violent. I am 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 not because yeah, we're so right. soft inside. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. That's it. it. Is. That's it. Honestly, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I very, said we're so soft. soft yeah. Inside. yeah, I'm very squishy on the outside and in the inside. Let me let me let me be very very shady. So, of all the housewives other than yourself, who had? During, you know, while you're film- filming, who had the best hair and who had the worst hair? <laughs> uh, I don't Other know. than yourself, like with good hair. So who had the best hair and the worst hair? Were there a few wigs that you were like, yeesh. <laughs> so, so like, cause obviously none of them sell hair. So me saying that is like attacking somebody's hair company. Do you understand? So I wouldn't say the worst hair in terms of quality, but I'll say like they didn't put it together nicely. And but I know how. How it did is. you resist the urge? Be like, girl, let me fix your frontal. Like, so on. whenever I, if you're my friend, I'll help you. If you're not my friend, that's your business. You understand? Your hair could be flying up and down. Oh, so, God. Yeah. Was that was that was that shade? It's not shade. Was that shade? <laughs> it wasn't. She said her friend. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> But if I'm cool with you, like, yeah, I'm that girl. Like, I want everyone to look great. Like, mm. that's just my personality. Mm. For me, like, the hotter we all look, the better the pack. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So if your hair's not, I will fix it. If your outfit, I'll, I'll put it together. I'll add what I need to add to your outfit. To, Did you, know, you spot it together. one or two dodgy designer pieces? Yeah, but I can't say who. Did you spot any? From, yeah, from yeah. episode one, they showed us at the lunch. I saw it. I was just like... Well, <laughs> I can't say anything. I know. Yeah. All right. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. Um, when you said you had wigs for us. <laughs> I just said this was a joke. I said it was a joke. Okay. Would you like wigs? Yes, please. Okay. For free? Uh, wait too. It's not free. <laughs> yeah, for free. For free. <laughs> for free. I don't trust I that love. I don't trust that love. I don't trust that love. So 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 Somebody <laughs> looking at her like, Auntie. Yeah. So What's so going on? They're my fellow Cancerian sisters, so I think it's the least I can do. That's lovely. You know what we're gonna do? You get a wig, you get a wig, you get a wig. Off air gang, we'll let you know next time what happens. Because <laughs> <laughs> the way that la- <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't know. You'll get it, you'll get it. Awesome. Yeah, Not yeah, friends. automatically. Solid. Solid. I swear, by, by, by being cancerians, we're already friends. Well, exactly. <laughs> I swear, if I go on Instagram and yeah, friend. and then I'm like, my friend, you're you're like. Next time I see you, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh, what a fun episode! I had a lot of fun. Yeah, um, lots of um shade. 
<laughs> not from <laughs> us, so not from us. For once, mm-hmm. okay, maybe once or twice, but mainly the shade wasn't from us. <laughs> the shade was from the Real Housewives of Lagos. But um, keep watching. Yeah. I think things are about to get even hotter. Yes. So while we were taking a little quick break, somebody was talking about a fight. Mm. where somebody was on the floor and then somebody was on top of her and everything. They wouldn't tell us what happened. They wouldn't tell us which episode, but you need to watch. You need to watch, honestly. And shout out to our friends at Barnomadic for keeping us well. Lubricated. uh, Lubricated. (laughs) (laughs) Not just us, but also the housewives. Well, they actually really like it. I have the Agualuma Whiskey Sour called AG Baby 2. I've got Mangs and Make a Dance. Mangs and Make a Dance. Mangs, yeah, so this yeah. is actually very nice. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is very nice. Um, I think it's, I taste, I taste mango. I taste a little bit of rosemary. Mm. I taste like well, and whiskey. <laughs> and it's nice. And it's strong. Yeah. Um, so check them out on, on Instagram at Barnomadic. Um, and you can always, you know, uh, order from there. They do birthday parties, all your lovely gatherings, everything. And even if you just want to stay at home and drink, mm-hmm. that's fine too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, um, on Facebook. Just search for Off Air Show. Thank you for watching and bye. Yes, bye. Bye to our friends and customers. Customers. Oh, <laughs> woo, shade. Hi, I'm Bimmy. Hi, I'm Tools. If you absolutely love that episode, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's just right there. You're not going to yeah. die. We promise. Just click button. right there. Click, just click. Press the button. Thank press you. It. Subscribe. Press Tell it. your family and friends Press too. the button. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.